Well, welcome to this symposium, Health and Wellness. In the medical school, health and wellness is an integral, pivotal part of our mission. How do you talk to the community? How do you open the conversation with them to let them tell you what it is that they need? The community sees this university and the School of Medicine as a future solution. And in order to do that, that dialogue has to happen with them telling us what it is that they needed. So it's so important to be out there having those kinds of conversations with our community members and sort of opening the door, the relationship between what's going on in their culture and their families, which um, the humanities and social sciences are terrific at doing. What do these diseases mean to people historically, in the present? How do we address those concerns? And so bringing all of these together, thinking about what people have to say and how they might be able to improve their health by having these conversations. We really do need to know what's going on in the community to guide what we're doing in our laboratories. Briefly, what, what I've been working on is a drug that will be able to prevent brain cells from dying when a person has a stroke. And we are actually trying to move this into clinical trial here at UC Riverside. So we'd like for the community to be involved. We want the community to be the beneficiary of the things that we do. So we are working on things that would be able to diagnose many neurological disease and also psychiatric disease such as schizophrenia and depression. We have built a very unique program here at UCR. This medical school would significantly bend the curve on health outcomes in this region. That it would open doors that had previously been closed for new participants so that our future physicians would look like our community would come from our community and would have the skills and the knowledge necessary to impact the health and wellness of our communities. And so we are doing all of those things in your school of medicine, training your future healthcare providers, some of whom may very well be your children. We're training our medical students to be compassionate physicians and to learn how to function in that space of humanism in medicine because the better they are, the better they're able to take care of you.